Welcome, this is Eric Martin with the Mechanical Engineering Department at the University of Maine. In this drawing, we see we have text within our title block. In this video, we will look at three different ways to include text in our drawing template. First, we're going to open an existing template. If we know the location of our existing template, we can just search for it within our file browser. If we don't know the location, what we can do is use an existing template. In this case, I'm going to choose my demo template. I'm going to open that up. And what I will do is I will save this as a template when we are through. Here we see we have a title block. And in this title block, we see that we have a few text fields. And notice as I try to select these different text I'm not able to select any of them, I'm not even able to select any of my lines. Everything that we see here is protected um, at the moment. To begin a new text entity, we click on the note icon, and that's within our annotation command manager, uh, and our note property manager shows up. And we will just write a text, and I'll say that this text is unprotected. And I will click my mouse cursor and then notice when I do click it, um, I'm able to make it several times. And then to stop creating it, I need to hit the escape button. And we can see that you know, the text is no longer uh, attached to my cursor. Now that we have added some text, we can see that we are able to hover over the text and we can see that it changes color. And then we can select the text and move it around. This is not what we want for our title block where we want our text to be protected from accidental cursor moves uh, or selections or even worse, deletions. So to get into this title block, what we need to do is we need to get into our sheet format. So we are going to right click our mouse and we have our whole menu here and we are going to select edit sheet format. And now notice that our text that we have just drawn has kind of disappeared. Um, it'll come back. Um, you also may have seen that my mouse was um, hovering over our lines and they're changing color and we can even um, as we zoom in a little bit, maybe be able to hover over some of our text. Looks like it's not changing color. Um, and we also have an icon up here, and that is to go back to our edit sheet. Uh, and we'll have to select that to go back to our sheet in a few minutes. So now when we um, include text, I'll click a note, and I'll write a text here, and I will say that all dimensions in millimeter. And I can select it and then if I want to stop it from being attached to my cursor, I press the escape button and now I'm able to move my text. And when I edit my sheet or when I exit my edit sheet format, I can click this icon at the top right. And now notice that my original text is here. I'm able to move it around. But now I can't select my new text. To go back to edit the sheet format, I right click, select Edit Sheet Format, and now I'm able to select this text. Now, if I want to edit this text, I can double click it and I can change the size. I can either put it as a decimal or even as a fraction, 330 seconds. I can also change the actual text. Furthermore, I can even include bold and underline as I desire. Other things I can do is I can um, add paragraphs and symbols. So we can go note, I can say tolerances, I might want to have plus or minus, um, we'll say 0 0.1 
degrees. Or what we can do is we can come here to our symbols and I can have a plus minus symbol, 0.1, then there should be a degree symbol here as well. I can change that to center justified, left justified, and right justified. And I could delete the line as I wish. To exit the sheet format and to re-enter edit sheet, I can either click on this icon at the top right or right click and edit sheet. Please note that you must exit the sheet format prior to saving this as a template. So let's fill in some more fields on our title block, but let's look at some text that is automatically populated uh, depending on our drawing sheet properties. So we, we will enter our edit sheet format. We'll come and select note. But now we will select a note that has a link to a property. We'll use the default current document, current document. And then we will include a file name. We'll select OK. It's helpful to um, include the text or insert the text away from um, any entities, otherwise the automatic leader may uh, show um, and, and, and stay. And now we have draw1, which is the same file name as we have here. And we'll accept that by left clicking. We'll press the escape button. And then we can drop draw1 down here. Now we'll create another text. We'll once again link it to our property. And that's include our short date. Short date usually fits pretty well in our date field. So select short date. We'll select OK. Once again, we'll drag it here and select it. We can press the escape button here. And once again, and then we can drag that down into um, our date field. Uh, we can even include uh, something such as the scale. So click note link to property and we will look for our sheet scale which is right over here click OK and we can see it's already one to one we'll escape a couple times and then drag down one to one here and we can see that that's the same as um, the one to one that we have in our sheet scale already now if we want to include the sheet size we should be able to find that in our property list and let's see here I think it's sheet format size we'll select OK this is indeed an A size sheet and we'll drag that down here now we can also change um, the font on these linked text so we can make that bold um, and let's see if 3 16 fits in here there we go and again, we can adjust that as we need to. Um, let's try another one. Let's try, um, let's put our drawn by. Let's come back to note. We want to link to our properties. And when I come down this list, I don't see anything that's drawn by. However, if I come to my file properties, I can see drawn by and I can enter that information select OK and again we don't see anything here but let's go back to our note link to property and when we come down to our property names we now see that our file properties are first on the list we'll move Eric Martin or E Martin right here and if I ever want to change that, I can say that that should be maybe Eric Martin, and that can automatically change. So now we're going to look at text that is associated with the part or assembly that we are going to include in our drawing sheet. 
Now, if we come and take a look at our note and our link to property, we don't see anything here concerning the material or the description um, of our part. We can even come into model found here, um, select a component or other drawing view, and once again, we don't see anything of the um, file that's coming in. So we're going to cancel that. And we are going to have to use a little bit of uh, SolidWorks syntax in our note. So we're going to create a new note. We're not going to actually um, select link to property, but we are going to type it up so it will be linked to property. We're going to use the dollar sign. Well, let's select it. Use the dollar sign, then PRPSHE. E E T colon we'll do the open quotes and then within these quotes is going to be um, the field and this field is going to come from my file properties of my part um, and let's use description if you looked at my previous video you'll see that that was used in our part templates so use description and then as soon as I hit the end quotes I've got these funny brackets that appear and that's okay. Um, let's do another one. Let's create another text. And here we're going to do, once again, we're going to do the dollar sign. And it'll be PRP sheet colon open quotes. And let's use material. The capitalization does not matter. And then we'll do end quotes. And we'll see material such as this. We can also use part numbers or revisions um, or whatever it might be that we want. So we're going to put description here. We'll put material over here. Once again, we can select this and even change this. And so let's see if quarter of an inch will fit well. That's a little bit too big. Let's go to 3 16 maybe. And that might be okay. Before we exit our edit sheet format, we'll move this text box within this field. And then we will exit our edit sheet format mode. We will fit our document. Then we will save our document and make sure we save this as a template. So save as. I can call it demo. I'll call it demo2 just to keep the original. We'll save that. And then we'll close this. And before we create a drawing, we'll take a look at our file properties and we'll see the fields that we have filled in. Description, part number, revision, material. We'll create a new drawing from our part or assembly. We'll select Demo 2. That's our most recent title block that we've been working on. We'll click OK. And we'll just bring in um, an isometric view. And we accept that. And now notice that we have um, our title, which is our description, the date. Notice that the scale has updated automatically. Material has updated automatically. That is how we include text in our drawing sheets. Thank you for watching.